spinal cord injury is any form of injury to the neural tissues inside the spinal canal now this can happen because of trauma this can also happen because of uh, very trivial injuries sometimes people may just have a bout of coughing or they may just sneeze loudly and then they may end up with injuries provided they have an already have a disease in the spinal canal which causes compression on the nerves and if there is any event that aggravates it it's a fall it's an accident it's a bout of coughing or sneezing that can cause the damage to the canal uh, to the cord and that can lead to it so like inside this bony canal there is a nerve that goes in from the brain to the various parts of the body if this canal is tightened and then there is an issue like that can lead to injury to this nerve the signs and symptoms of a spinal cord injury usually depends on the level and the depth of the injury they can be simply as a pain or an irritating pain or a burning pain in the hands or the legs or parts of the body or that can lead to paralysis of the parts of the body it can be paralysis of the legs paralysis of the hands or arms and legs both plus loss of control over urine and bowel these days the spine surgery has become very safe with the, the new technologies available we have achieved very significant uh, improvement in the precision in the surgery we have navigation navigation is like a gps it tells you which part of the spine you are on we have now robotic uh, arms which help you to go straight in the direction we want to go we we do not lose the trajectory while doing surgery secondly while doing surgeries we are using monitoring techniques where we are monitoring the nerves during the surgery before we put in an implant or manipulate the spine we know that the no nerve is getting compressed and the function is remaining previously we couldn't do this and it was only after the surgery we came to know that we have damaged something and thirdly we have decreased the excess we have started doing minimal excess but instead of uh, big incisions we are doing it through small incisions so small incisions precise surgery safe monitoring during the surgery has made the uh, spine surgery very safe it has given very good results and that is also building the confidence of people to get it done regarding the surgical part there is a misconception that we should not get uh, surgery for spine done well there are some injuries which require urgent or early surgeries for spinal cord and they give very good results there are some times uh, the condition is so bad that even if we operate we may not get a good result that we usually communicate with the family but it's not that we should not done, get the surgery done surgery is life saving and surgery is spinal cord saving in majority of the times yes patient can resume normal life depending on the injury he may be totally independent as he was previously or he may have some dependency may require some help in walking in standing may require a stick or maybe a walker to walk around rare cases when the injury is very severe he may be wheelchair bound or very rarely bed bound spinal cord injury has a very significant effect on the mental health if it's a debilitating injury patient is paralyzed or he cannot do his uh, uh, routine uh, work independently they tend to go into depression so we have to take care of the mental aspect of the disease also when we treat these patients so psychological counseling and moral boosting is required because even in physical rehabilitation it takes long time so they tend to lose their moral and require, require a good family support friend support and a doctor who is always positive with them the tips to keep the spine healthy are very simple in today's world we are seeing lot of people with neck pain young people 20 to 30 years because of the use of mobiles use of laptops the lifestyles have changed we have stopped caring about the spine so my tips are if you are using mo uh, mobile it's it's not that you keep your neck like this it's better that you keep it somehow keep it straight keep your neck straight if you're working on a laptop please if, for long hours on a desk better to take a uh, stand and keep a laptop at an eye level for the screen and the keyboard at the uh, elbow level to use it and uh, the other tips are while we are watching tv sitting 
better not to slouch in the chair like this it's better to sit straight straight with your hip touching the end of the chair and better to have a lumbar support in the chair these simple tips can ensure you a long and healthy spine life